guys, Ashley here for a special Disney collection video. If you haven't seen it, I've already done a video on my ear collection. Now it's time to show you guys this side of the room, which is my backpacks, bags, and fanny packs collection. If you remember, I did do a poll on Instagram and the results were 50, 50, 50 ears, 50 bags. So it's time for me to finally film this video. I am currently using an Amazon like hat rack that I purchased through there. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Probably not the most realistic scenario I got going on in storage for this, but it's what I have. I haven't figured out a better way to store my backpacks. If you guys have any suggestions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Before I tackle this, I want to let you guys know that I will be taking everything apart, organizing it, kind of rearranging it so it looks a little more slim and like tight so it's not like this huge Matterhorn avalanche going on and I'll be going over each bag and item in more detail without further ado Let's get into it. I wanted to give a little bit of an overview before we get it all tackled and started This is what the rack looks like. I do have some backpacks right here on the wall as well Which we'll get into in a second, but this is before <laughs> First I'm gonna start off by removing the hats we don't need to go over these. These are just like random hats that Chris and I have. Um, so those are gonna go over here. Starting in no particular order, this is the first one that I had grabbed. It is a Daniel Nicole Mickey Mouse glove backpack. It's one of my favorites. I really love the little glove accent. And then when you flip it open, there's Mickey holding on, which is really cute. And inside, it's just like a plain, like gray, black color with the Daniel Nicole logo and the back straps are like a silver shiny material which is really cute the actual handles of these aren't very like multiple they're very like tight and firm that's the only drawback i think with this backpack but other than that this is super cute to have with like an all mickey outfit especially like in front of toontown this is a more recent purchase this is a sorcerer mickey lounge fly backpack this is chris's little baby his favorite character is sorcerer mickey as you can see the detailing is adorable there is a little paintbrush on the zipper. If you know Loungefly, they always do amazing interior work of their bags. So I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys up close what the inside of this backpack looks like. It is the same artwork that Disney has currently right now for their ink and paint collection. I really love the inside of this and this backpack just screams Chris. You have like endless bounds in creativity with this bag. I definitely want to say this is like in our top 10 favorite bags. The next bag is a lounge fly purse which I absolutely adore. On the front it has Mickey, Pluto and I believe like a cheetah or a leopard of some sort which is really cute and then at the bottom of the bag and the whole inside it has like that same animal print and again you know Loungefly always does the inside beautifully so we have the Mickey silhouette along with some paw prints I think this bag is adorable I purchased this for what was supposed to be our upcoming trip to Animal Kingdom unfortunately we had to cancel that trip, but it still has the tags. I cannot wait to wear it. Maybe I'll do a cute little like bound or outfit for like Adventureland. There's a little zipper with the lounge fly little detail in the front, and then that's what the zipper looks like inside. This bag was adorable. I purchased this at Box Lunch. If it's still available, I will go ahead and link it in the description below. This next bag is, I think, definitely one of my top favorites. It is a Cinderella lounge fly backpack with, of course, the most adorable little duo which is Gus Gus and Jacques and it has that cute little like bow detail. It says a dream is a wish your heart makes on the front and like a little gold foil. I do want to show you guys the cute details that Loungefly has. This is the Cinderella carriage as the zipper. As I mentioned time and time again, the insides of Loungefly bags are always decorated really cutely. It's all of the little mice in the Cinderella movie with some ribbon and some buttons. And then I want to go ahead and show you guys the back. So it's still that like Cinderella baby pastel muted blue with the three little mice sewing up a storm in the back, which I think is really, really cute. I have worn this a ton at the parks with a really cute, like chunky sweater. This is adorable. This next backpack is one of my most used backpacks of all time at the parks. It is a Disney lounge fly bag with Minnie and Mickey floating up into the clouds with a little picnic basket on the side. I went ahead and added this little poof here. I purchased this at the World of Disney store, but it normally doesn't come with it. The side 
sides have little rooms for like water bottles or like sunscreen or anything like that. It's on both sides, which I really appreciate. This is what the inside looks like. It says love with a little heart at the end of the word love. Again, this backpack is one of my most used bags of all time. I really quick wanted to show you guys a size comparison of this bag. This is a lounge fly, but it is much bigger than their mini style. So this is the one that I just recently showed you. Look at the difference. I'm able to fit so much more in this. I love this size. It fits my body, like shape and figure really well. Normally if a backpack's any bigger than this, I find it won't actually fit my back. It's like really heavy and dangly. So this for me is like my perfect size, but I do love and appreciate the mini bags for like a lighter day. The next bag is another lounge fly. It is a mini backpack lounge fly with a polka dot bottom and then the Disney lounge fly emblem on the side. As you can see on each side, there are little outlets for you to put water bottles or sunscreen or what have you and it has the little like poofy ears if you take a look inside there is an actual holder for you to be able to put your laptop which we really like and there is just so much room now this is a lot bigger than the pink lounge fly that i just showed you chris and i definitely have been using these for like when we travel or for it's like an overnight kind of occasion definitely really useful if you want to use this like as a school backpack i also want to know that there's a zipper right here so you can go ahead and open that up and there's a lot of room there too. So this is, I would say like the best bang for your buck. This is really cute for any travel or any heavy like Disney days. To go with the mini backpack, Chris has the Mickey version, which is cute. It has the same zipper in the front, the same side pockets on each side, and then also has like the little clasp up on top same zipper and everything when you open it up it also has a hole for your laptop and has the exact same amount of room again we have been really loving these for like those long disney days when we're at the parks all day or even for like an overnight kind of travel situation the next bag is a little gus gus plushy like crossbody bag i have never worn this because it means so much to me it's just so adorable this was gifted to me by one of our followers and it's just, you know, Gus Gus doing a little huh, face. <laughs> On the back is where the little zipper is. You can go ahead and unzip it. And honestly, I don't think much fits in here. Maybe a Tic Tac, some gum, a lip balm at most. I think it's more of a decorative type of bag, but either way, he is super adorable. The next bag is a Shop Harvey's and Disney collaboration. This is a fanny pack slash crossbody. It is a C-3PO Star Wars Disney collaboration. Right here is a gold little medallion. This is his like little tummy with all of the little like wirings and then the gold shiny uh, material, which is really pretty. On the back, it's just a plain black Harvey's seat belt material. I wanted to see if I could show you the zipper detailing on this bag. Inside it has has a gray Star Wars lining. Now there is a little attachment. This can be made into a wristlet if you would like, or you can go ahead and close it up. And right now I currently have it as a crossbody, so it's really long, but you can shorten it up and make it a fanny pack as well. This next bag is, I think, one of my uh, my top five favorites. I purchased this at Tokyo Disneyland in 2018 when we went. So it has a lot of like patchwork with like a pleather feel to it. The first zipper right here when you open up is very big. There is nothing like on this side, it's like pleather material, but on here we have some of the Tokyo Disney Sea artwork. I will go ahead and show you guys a better look at that in a second. You open up this little top here with that clasp. There's also two clasps on each side if you need to expand the bag for whatever reason. The inside of the bag is where it really shines. If you guys can see right here is like, I think his name's Shondu. We have Minnie with like some of the little treats. So all of the little artwork inside is all based off of little characters and treats from inside Tokyo Disney. But this bag was not only a steal price wise, but I think one of like the cutest bags I have in my collection. It literally goes with everything. It's Mickey. Here we have the next crossbody. This bag stole my heart <laughs> when it arrived on shopdisney.com. It is adorable. So the whole point of this bag is you're able to put all of your different like pins if you collect Disney pins on the bag. I do collect some Disney pins but I haven't had the chance to actually fill up the bag yet. It has like a little metal clasp right here. The inside is just like a black and white striped material and design and then the inside again is just that same material and design. Inside right here though I actually do have a free pin. This was a little free pin that came with purchase. I did have it on the bag but I've kept it in here 
just until I actually get around to putting the pins on the bag. On the sides, they have this little Mickey hardware detail. I really like this bag. I think it is adorable. It goes with everything. If you guys can tell, I have like a motif where I really like to buy bags that would go with a lot of different outfits just so I have that like versatility. I did want to show you guys, this is an alternate bag strap that I purchased on Shop Disney. This can go with the bag that I just showed you or with any other bag if you are able to like take off the actual straps. But it has this gold Mickey detailing with like Minnie and Mickey's like shoes and pants and um, face silhouettes all over. I think this is one of my favorite bag straps of all time. Inside on here it has more of the um, like material and then on the inside on this side it's just like that plain red pleather. And here we have a little special goodie. This is a Spectrum Cosmetics and Disney collaboration. I keep it in the bag because it is just that special to me. It is the most adorable little fanny pack. This actually came with a makeup brush set. This was only available in UK for some reason but there was a website that was selling them and shipping them to the US. On the side it has this little Mickey silhouette and says Spectrum and Disney. It has this really cute like tassel faux tassel leather chain and then it has little Mickey pin. It's like an enamel pin kind of material but it's like a little charm. It's really cute. We have the Mickey gloves on the front. If you open it up inside it's like this really cute like satiny kind of material with the same little emblem. This is where that makeup brushes actually came. On the back it comes with a black and gold studded belt so this is where you use to put it around your waist. This is one of my favorite like fanny. This is my favorite fanny pack I own. Um, it is rather small. I mean this is my hand for reference so I can usually only fit like a cell phone, my card holder, some like lip gloss. I do always put the brush that this came with. I will go ahead and grab it right now. This is the travel brush that came with it so I I always keep it in this little side right here um, when I do take this bag but again this is literally my favorite fanny pack I own hands down. Things are getting now a little bit spooky. This is my Shock Loungefly Nightmare Before Christmas Disney mini bag. I love this so much. I love the little like hat detailing on the top. This is really cute. On the front right here it has the Nightmare Before Christmas logo with Disney on the front. When you open right here in the front it's just a pinstripe um, material inside with the purple like faux leather material. Inside the bag we have that classic Jack Skellington pinstripe material. I really love wearing this during the Halloween season at the parks. I just really love the craftsmanship and then the creativity of this bag. The next backpack is Chris's. This is a Oogie Boogie Nightmare for Christmas Disney collaboration with Loungefly. So on this little corner right here, it has like the little emblem with the Nightmare for Christmas and the Disney logo. And then they have two little pockets on the front. If you open up the pockets, so it has all of the worms that Oogie Boogie ends up eating in the movie. Spoiler alert. And then if you open up the front of the bag, it has a little drawstring if you want to really cinch it up really tight or if you'd rather have it loose. And then it has the same pattern in here with all of the little bugs and whatnot. This bag Chris loves. It's huge. You can fit so much stuff in here and he loves wearing it during the Halloween season. It's his favorite time of the year. <laughs> this next bag right here screams Animal Kingdom Safari vibes. I absolutely love this. So you have a little giraffe mini ears on top with this adorable like faux suede material I want to say and then there's like this beautiful little giraffe with mini on the front there's a little zipper detail right here where you can put like all of your wallets again Loungefly kills it with the interior of the bags it has the Disney Loungefly logo at the bottom with that same like faux suede-ish kind of material. On the side, room to put like a water bottle or like sunscreen or something like that. And then they have a little zipper on this side. So if you have any little items that you can fit in there, there's a little trinket pocket there. In the inside of the bag, we have the giraffe print, which is beautiful. And then we have some little mesh pockets right here. If you need to put anything inside, there is like some compartments. This is what the back looks like. My jeans ended up staining this, so be careful if you do own this bag. Literally, I'm taking this when I go to Animal Kingdom next whenever that may be. The next bag correlates with the one that I just showed you so we have up on top some Mickey ears with that giraffe print just in like this like faux like leather. That same suede material with some trees and the giraffe on the side with Mickey and Pluto. If you open this up it has like the top with that suede like faux suede again material beautiful it has this pattern on the front 
with the Disney and Loungefly logo. If you open up this little pouch right here, you're able to put some items in here. The inside of this bag has the same pattern. This bag is so heavy duty. I feel like I have a laptop in this. The quality must be amazing. Um, you're able to fit like a whole like mini laptop or like iPad in here. There's a lot of compartments. This bag is just so cute. This is actually Chris's, if I haven't mentioned already. So definitely him and I will be rocking these <laughs> when we go. This is one of Chris's bags that he really loves. It is a Up Pixar themed inspired lounge fly backpack. So on front right here, you can see they have the Wilderness Explorers badge and it says adventures out there with the little like balloon artwork. If you move closer down, you can see the Up House and then these like little foldable little flaps here at the bottom here we have some adorable little artwork with them super tired and then the wilderness explorer badges on top on the side right here it says why is she with that small mailman it's the little dogs on the back we have Russell here holding on to like the string of the balloons and then inside of this bag we have another little like pull jawstring if need be if you'd like to have it a little more tight Chris loves this it is fairly big so he's able to fit a lot in there especially for those long day at the parks but this is so cute this this next bag is something that I love to wear when Chris wears his up backpack. So it's a little booklet um, style like crossbody bag. It says my adventure book on the front. And then right here you have Paradise Falls with the Carl and Ellie little heart um, engraved into the bag. There is a little pocket here if you'd like to add some things. And then it has the same Wilderness Explorers um, badge uh, material inside. I believe now Loungefly has made an updated version of this. If they have, I will leave a um, picture right here. Again, I really love the artwork of this bag and I think it is just so adorable. Here is a Harvey's tote that was sent to us. It has like that neon like magenta um, striped background with like a neon turquoise and lime green Mickey on the front. On the back it has the same artwork but we cannot forget on the side it has this adorable little charm. This is what the inside looks like. It is a light gray with the Mickey letters that spell out Mickey Mouse. There's also another extra strap in here if you want to make this tote a crossbody. You are more than welcome to but I really love the colors for this and I feel like this would look so cute during the summer. The next bag is another Harvey's tote. This is for their Fantasia and Anniversary. It has Sorcerer Mickey on the front and let me show you guys a closer look. At closer look you're able to see right here this adorable little charm set that dangles off the front. The back is really cute too. It has like the little um, broom or mop with the watering pails which is a really cute added detail. The inside is that same gray for the Harvey's like material. I know it's kind of hard to see but it's all of the pails that are right here is all of those pails inside. But this bag is so cute. It goes with like all of our Sorcerer Mickey bounds and outfits. This next bag I think is in my top five favorite purses and bags in general. When this came out, I bought it within the minute because I knew I wanted to have this. It's a Harvey's Mini and Mickey reversible. So the bow has like this cute little like notebook love design with Mini on the front. And then on the back, it's reversible and it has Mickey. I did wear this and I stained this all blue. If anyone knows how to clean Harvey's bags, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't wanna ruin it, so I have yet to clean it. But this bag is, I mean, it's absolutely adorable. I have nothing but good things to say. Here we have a cute little charm that's on the bag. The really great thing about this bag is it is a crossbody, yes, but you can also make it a backpack. There is a little slit down there, which you're able to convert this into a backpack. The sheer convertibility of this bag and also the artwork for me was what sold me on this. I missed out on the Sorcerer Mickey one, which I will go ahead and put a picture of it right here. I missed out on that one. So when they came out with this one, I was like, you shall be mine and I shall wear you all the time. This next backpack, when I saw it online, I was like, I know this is mine. I gotta have it. It has my name written all over it. It is a Disney lounge fly backpack with like white and black front checkers with little Mickeys on it. And then on the bottom it says, oh, Oh boy I just love this like red detailing on the zipper it has like this little like silicone Mickey shoe charm when you open it up it is a little pocket but it isn't like the world's biggest pocket it would fit something very small when you open it up inside there is a lightning bolt and Mickey artwork pattern there's also an extra strap in here and I will tell you why this is what the back looks like I currently only have one strap so you can have it as a crossbody bag or you can take off this clasp and then you can clasp it down here and then this is where the extra 
little strap comes in and I clasp the extra one on and then I clasp it at the bottom. So then that purse that was a crossbody now turns into a backpack. This is such a versatile bag. I've used this so much. One, because it fits a lot of stuff and two, it's just so versatile. We have another lounge fly crossbody purse. This one has a Mickey and Minnie on it. Minnie serving Mickey a piece of cake for his birthday. This came out during the 90th celebration for Mickey. I do have some staining here which I need to clean from my jeans but um, it's like a faux material so that should clean off fairly easily. There is a little pocket right here where you're able to store some stuff. As I mentioned a hundred times in this video, Loungefly always does a really cute pattern so that's what the inside looks like with some little pockets. This bag also has a cute little charm and it says party time on the back. This was my first Loungefly purchase ever. I purchased this like on Hot Topic with some like Hot Topic cash or something like that and it was on sale. I couldn't pass this up. I love this bag. It's very like subtle and cute. Here we have our first non-Disney bag, but if you guys know us, Spongebob is one of Chris and I's favorite shows of all time. Here we have the Loungefly Patrick backpack. Um, on the front it has the design of Patrick shorts with the Nickelodeon and Loungefly emblem on the front. When you open up the bag inside, it has the same material of his pants. And when you open it from the top, it has the same artwork from his pants. Chris and I, again, we love Spongebob so much. This is such a cute bag. We wore these. We went to Universal Studios and met Spongebob and Patrick and it was like a moment. Speaking of Spongebob, here is the backpack. I'm sure you were able to see him like staring at you. He was like front and center on this rack, but this is what he looks like. He has a little crusty crab hat with his little get up at the bottom. He even has little dangling legs and arms. I mean, come on. This is like adorable. We have his outfit right here with his little tie. The zipper is a spatula with porter starboard attachments. If anyone watches Spongebob, you'll get that joke. Inside this bag, we have a bunch of the Krabby Patties with Plankton getting away with one of them. And on the inside, it has the exact same material. Again, Spongebob has such a big place in Chris and I's heart. We bonded over this when we first started dating and I mean, it's just so cute and to go with this bag and the backpack we have the Gary wallet so I keep the Gary wallet in the Spongebob bag just because it's like the most convenient but when you open him up it has some artwork of Gary and then you're able to put like all of your card holders and whatnot and then here you're able to put your change your loose change it's just way too cute this next bag is a Daniel Nicole bag that I was gifted it is from the movie Tangled it is one of the most special bags I have. It is a very unique shape, so if you guys can tell, this is the lantern from the movie. If you open up the bag, that's where you're able to store your stuff. I wore this at D23, and believe you me, this was able to hold a ton of stuff. The really cool thing about this is it has a little battery pack, and you shall see why. The bag lights up. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? On the back, it has the Danielle Nicole like name with um, Rapunzel's little silhouette. It has a rose gold chain and I can't wait to wear it again. Here we have another lounge fly backpack that just does it all for me. This is a little Minnie Mouse backpack. On the front, it has Minnie Mouse written in cursive with some bows and then this cute polka dot bow accent on the front. If you open up inside, it just has like a gold yellow uh, pinstripe detailing with some pockets, but the back is where this bag really shines. Much like the checkered bag, the Mickey one that I showed you, this one also has like versatility. I just have all of the hooks strapped to the, the front for now, but it does have hooks on the side if you would like it to be a backpack, or if you want to wear it as like a crossbody, you can take out these two here and then just have like the one strap here as the crossbody. So this is a very versatile bag. This is a little bit smaller for reference. This is the size of my hand. If you're looking to go like all day and have a bunch of stuff, this might not be the bag. But for like really short trips to the parks or like weekends and stuff like that, I love wearing this as a crossbody. The next bag has been through it all. I literally got this right around the time that I started doing like the duo page. A friend of ours was actually in Paris and picked this up for us. This is from Primark in Paris. It was like 
20 bucks there. I wish we had a Primark here in the States, but it has little Mickey ears on it with the little zipper. It has just like a black inside, uh, nothing too special. And then the little zipper accent right here. It is a very plain backpack, but this is, I think, one of my top five. I keep saying top five. We'll have to actually see how many I have in my top five. It's probably more than that. But this bag, it's the epitome of an it goes with everything type of bag. I know I keep saying that about almost every bag, but this really does go with it all. Here is another Primark purchase that my friend had purchased for me. It has Minnie and Mickey holding hands. It's like this bright, shiny little silver. These are more like simple style bags compared to Loungefly, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. It goes, I mean, it goes with everything. It's Mickey and Minnie holding hands. This bag is also a Primark purchase from my friend. It has like a glitter, like red, sequent type of like material and then it has Mickey um, covering his mouth and then the back is just plain. The inside is also plain. I haven't used this one in a while but this bag is really cute. I think I'm gonna have to break it out and start using it again. Here we have some fanny packs. I'll go ahead and just show you one of them because we have two but this is the Disneyland 90s night fanny pack. Do I need to say more? The coloring in this is awesome and the fact that this was like free gift with like the after dark ticket pricing was really nice. Even if we're not going to the parks. I know Chris really likes this bag and he ends up wearing this fanny pack a lot like when we're out and about or even like during like hikes and stuff. Woo! This fanny pack is dingy. This has been through a lot. Chris uses this all the time. This is his fanny pack that he purchased at Target or Walmart I believe. It was like 10 bucks. It has Mickey on the front like Mickey written and Mickey on the front. The back has like this little pouch here. Chris uses this a lot, whether it's at the parks by himself, he really tends to take this one, or if we're going like for a walk or a hike or anything like that, this is one of his favorites. This bag was actually gifted to me. I'm not sure where it's from. It doesn't have like any tags on it. I do use this quite a bit, but I'm not sure where it's from, so I'm really sorry, but it is super super cute here we have an adorable cute fanny pack this is my second favorite fanny pack that i own mainly because it has cute little Gus Gus on the front with this little button. There is a little front zipper, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that for you. The inside of this fanny pack is just a bright pink, and then the inside here is also just like a bright pink with the uh, Disney and Loungefly logo on the front. Where I think this fanny pack really shines is the straps right here that go around your waist. This is supposed to look like the measuring tape that they use to help Cinderella make her dress. This bag is so adorable. It goes in and out of stock all the time on box lunch. It's a very popular fanny pack. If they do have it available, I will leave the link down below. The next bag we have right here is Chris's fanny pack. It's a like faux leather um, material with some like fuzzy little patches on the front. Poor Mickey's glove is very dirty. He's been very loved. The front, it has a zipper with like the Mickey Mouse writing on the front. And then the body of the fanny pack right here is the second zipper. In the second zipper, it has the Mickey Mouse writing, same material as the first one with the Disney Loungefly emblem. Chris really loves this one. Along with the one that I just showed you, the other Mickey one, this is like his favorite. This one holds much, much more than that uh, Target Walmart Mickey uh, fanny pack. He usually puts it like over his chest and it lays pretty far flat, which is really nice. This is a random like non-Disney one, but we did purchase it at Downtown Disney. I believe Chris bought this at the surf shop at Downtown Disney. I'm forgetting the name right now. We'll, we'll go ahead and put the name somewhere on the screen, but he purchased it there. He's used this so much when he works like his insomniac events. This is the uh, fanny pack he uses. You guys can tell it's it's been very loved, but um, this one's really cute. I just wanted to throw that in there. This is a newer fanny pack to us. We just got this um, sent to us by Box Lunch, but it is a Winnie the Pooh fanny pack. It has like this corduroy material, which I love, with little fuzzy Winnie the Pooh himself. This is what the inside material looks like from the front and the main body pocket of the fanny pack. And then it has like the black little strap around your waist. At the bottom, it has the Disney and Loungefly emblem. I cannot wait to wear it at the parks and take a picture in front of Pooh's Honey Hunt. Next, we have a Tokyo Disney Mickey annual pass holder type bag. I'm considering this a bag because there's a zipper and I have it hanging up in my rack back there. But on the front, you can see it's like Mickey's little face. And then on the back, it has a little spot for you to put your annual passport or any kind of cards. You have a zipper right on top. When you open that up, it's just like a black material. It's very like like fuzzy and um, like very plush. What's really cool about this bag is there's hooks on each side that you're able to detach and just hang it from like this hook up here. Or you can tuck this in or like lay it flat and it kind of like is supposed to be seen like invisible. 
and then you can have it like over your neck or use it as a crossbody. Another fun little detail from these Tokyo pass holders is this little clasp right here. You're able to pull it and it's like one of those like you know when you have a work badge and it does that little like thing. I don't know how else to describe this. <laughs> I have yet to use this. I really need to use it. I still have the tag on it, but hopefully I get to wear this soon. Right now the rack is completely empty. We still have some little bags down here to discuss, which I will show you guys right now. I also wanted to show you guys this adorable Mickey vintage lunchbox that I got gifted for my birthday from my friend Christine. I absolutely love him. I have him like standing right at the bottom of the bag rack, but he is just so cute. It's so hard to find these nowadays and I, I cherish this. I have them again sitting at the bottom all loud and proud so thank you so much Christine for this. I really appreciate it. One of the three backpacks that I have hanging on the wall for no particular reason. This is a Loungefly Pixar and Disney Coco backpack. It's just so cute. The detailing is so special. We have Miguel and like his Dia de los Muertos like face paint and then on the front right here it says remember me with like the Dia de los Muertos sugar skulls. When you open it up here, it has like a little spot to put things in. I still haven't even used this bag, so it still comes with like the foam when you purchase the bag. On the zipper here, we have the awesome little guitar. And when you open up the bag, you have this awesome Dia de los Muertos like flower and sugar skull print. I really love this backpack. I know it's been selling out fairly quickly on the Box Lunch website. I can't wait to wear it. I mean, even the side detailing is so pretty. The back of this bag is so special too. It's just so pretty. It also has slots for like water bottles or anything that you'd want to like place on the side of a backpack. If you haven't picked this up and you are a fan of Coco the movie, you definitely need to get this. This next bag has such a special place in my heart. This is like one of my very first like mini bags that I purchased. This is not a lounge fly. It's just like a Disney brand bag, but it is for annual pass holders only. So in the front right here, I actually have this little tag I keep because I don't want to lose it, but it says 2018 Disneyland pass holder. I keep it again in there because I just don't want to lose it, but it has such cute artwork. I love when Disney every year they come out with a new park artwork and this was the year for 2018. Last but not least we have a Disney Lounge Fly mini backpack. This was special for Mickey's 90th celebration and this is a cast member exclusive so you could only pick this up if you were a cast member. I am not a cast member but a friend of mine actually picked this up for me so this is what the front looks like. It has the same artwork and design inside and on the inside from the top it has like a gold and black polka dot lining but what's really special is if you look inside right here it says limited edition this was number 38 of 600 I really like that it has like that limited little factor and it has it written inside the bag I love this bag when I wear this with my matching bands I feel so cute this is definitely one of my top five favorites all right now that you've seen all of the bags I think it's time for me to wipe down this rack and reorganize the bags to make it look a little more presentable All right, guys, that was me showing you guys every Disney bag that Chris and I have in our collection. That was a doozy. It took a lot longer to film than I anticipated. I am so glad I was able to show you guys our entire collection as well as make it look a little more presentable and organized. It still looks like a giant Matterhorn of bags, but a little more slim down, you know? As you guys can tell, I have a lot of favorites. I think my top five turned into like a top 10, but nonetheless, all of these bags I do really love and enjoy. For the ones that I haven't worn in a while, I need to start wearing those, and for the ones that I've never worn, those definitely are gonna get some use once the park opens. If any of these bags are still available, I will go ahead and leave links in the description. I wanna know which bag was your favorite, so go ahead and leave your favorite bag in the comments down below. Well, that's all the time we have left for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to turn on those notifications so whenever we go live or upload a video, you get notified. If you haven't checked out our Patreon, please do so. We always love the support that we get on there. Huge thank you to our friends right over here for supporting us on Patreon. If you're not following us on social media, everything is under It's The Duo with two O's. From Casa Del Duo, showing you guys our Disney bag collection. We'll see you guys later. Bye!
Hey guys, Ashley here for another special collection. No, it's Disney collection. Hey guys, Ashley here. Bleh, here, here. If you haven't seen it, I did a video. Bleh. I know I had mentioned, let's. Bleh. What better time than to reorganize this Matterhorn of a collection? No. No. The actual zipper is. Oh, it's all dusty. Like Star Wars Galaxy type of lining. Oops. This bag is so heavy. The quality is. <laughs> Here is another Primac. Primac? <laughs> Look at the new fisheye lens update. It's not working. What? Uh uh. Now that you've seen all of the bags, I think it's time for me to wipe down the rack and reorganize all of the bags to make it look a little more cute. I'm so glad that I was able to show you guys all of the bags in our collection, as well as organize it and make it look blah. It still looks like a Matterhorn of Mountain. Sorry. I want to know which one was your favorite, so if you... No. If any of these bags are still available... Blah. If any of these bags are still available, I will go ahead and leave links. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it. Don't forget it to give it. Yeah, give it a give it. Give it away now. That's all the time we have left for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, right? I forgot. Thank you for watching. Dang it. That's all the time we have left. That's the time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget it to give it a. Don't forget it to give it. <laughs> If you guys are new here, please don't forget to also make sure to turn on those If you haven't checked out our Patreon, um <laughs> Yeah, you got it, right? If you haven't checked out our uh, If you haven't checked out our Patreon, please do so. We always love the support. We If you're not following us uh, live from Casa del Duo, I'm just kidding. Ashley here from Casa del Duo signing off. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Signing F. <laughs> Is that what I said? Yeah. <laughs>